<laughs> All right, guys, we got another breaking news video. Another breaking news on Fox News telling us that the actor Alec Baldwin was reportedly given a gun, a cold gun, meaning a cold gun it doesn't have bullets in it, it's fake, it's a prop. But somehow this cold gun turned into a real gun and he shot one of the film producers. And believe it or not, it was a fatal move, a fatal blow that nobody expected to happen. Now my thing is, really? How long have we been filming movies? How many times have... Uh, accidents such as this has been going on in the music and what do you call it movie industry yes that's a little woman right there pretty little woman she was one of the cameramen videographer handling Alex Baldwin new movie he has coming out called Rust R-U-S-T yeah I don't know if he was aiming at her because I don't think she was a part of the film but somehow it ricocheted and made her become a statistic. Beautiful woman. Sure, she loved life. And she was making pretty good money, I would think. Because they do make money behind the scenes. And that's him, I guess, so-called calling the police. Or shouldn't somebody else been calling the police? Or maybe that was a part of the movie uh, being reenacted. Um... Well, they just gave us clips of the new movie that's coming out that he's starring in. Uh, but that is a real life scene right there um, of the incident. Now, as much technology is out there, and as many fake guns they use on especially these, um, what do you call it, action-packed movies um, that Will Smith have starred in before, uh, Tom Cruise... You know, they go around, they use, even in vid music videos, they use these guns, and you can tell they're fake by the little fire, um, we call it the fire that comes out the gun when you're actually operating it. And you know they, how they say they're spraying bullets and all that kind of stuff. You see that little fire that comes out of it. But I'm like, it's something else to the story, because my curiosity and my what do you call it imagination running away with me running away with me uh just my imagination i think it's from the temptation but uh yeah you know our we call it our conspiracy theory minds come out to play and i'm like wait a minute that, none of this don't make no sense is it all about the money is it all about the money did the lady want more money for the position she was playing in bringing that movie to life. Or was her and Alec having an affair? Was she pregnant? And he wanted her to get rid of the babe or whatever. I mean, what was going on? There's so many questions you can put to this scenario. To make it seem like the buttermilk ain't clean. Okay? There's nothing clean with that buttermilk. So, it doesn't sound kosher. It doesn't sound palatable to the tongue to just swish around and swallow and if I use my Claire Huxtable intuition and lawyer's back teeth background I meant to say let the record show it's something going on other than what they really are telling us I mean was it a sacrifice they needed you know they do that in the industry in the music industry y'all may not believe it but they I believe it happens if it's good as evil if you believe in God, you got to believe in Satan. You know, the two are synonymous. All right? But I don't know. What did she do? What did she have on him that he felt he needed to get rid of her or somebody needed to get rid of her? You know, was somebody gunning for her position in the filming production staff? Did somebody want her spot? I'm just saying. And maybe Alec is kind of innocent in all of this. But, Yeah interesting it's all i got to say it's interesting and don't always believe what the media tells you because even our uh previous president said fake news 
okay they put out what they want to put out and hopefully feel that everyone that's viewing it would digest it and just leave it alone but you know it's a family gonna leave it alone it's a friends gonna leave it alone is the conspiracy theories people gonna leave it alone i think not but i'm sure she'll be paid well well her family will be paid well if she had any or they might donate to her special charity cause who knows but let's get on into the story because now y'all have heard what i had to say and it didn't take long for me to sum it up in my mind of the questions that are going on in my mind that are, aren't answered but need to be answered they just need certain people out there asking the right questions not that they'll get the truth or answer but it would be worth a try for closure for her family if she had any family still living but we're going to go on this story was published this morning uh by dom kelly chico or kelly chio from fox news he must be one of their journalists over there writing up articles on a daily for them for us to partake of okay it is titled alec baldwin was told firearm was unloaded search warrant says report the firearm handed to alec baldwin on thursday was declared a cold gun meaning it was declared unloaded a report said as assistant director on the new mexico movie set of a movie rust r-u-s-t claimed that a gun being handled to or handed to actor alec baldwin on thursday was unloaded a search warrant filed in a santa fe court said according to reports cold gun assistant director dave house announced at the time using lingo for an unloaded firearm before rehearsal for the movie the associated press reported soon afterwards court filings say baldwin pulled the trigger of the firearm fatally wounding uh cinem cinematographer Hala Hala Hutchins and wounding director Joel Sousa. So Hala died, that's her, but the other director, Joel Sousa, didn't die. So in you know, hey, how's that possible? How's that possible? Oh, but going back to the auto, the gun used by Baldwin was one of three firearms that had been placed on a cart by Hannah uh some person who got the um i guess the props together but her name was hannah gutarius who was identified as the armorer for the film the associated press reported could alec baldwin face charges after rust movie set shooting experts weighed in and sometimes let me just a sidebar um i heard some conspiracy theories say that to have a movie do well sometimes deemed a sacrifice must be made so hmm <clears throat> So if, if the Russ movie start blowing up and getting good traction and faring real, real well at the box office, hmm, just question mark, was it a sacrifice? Okay, but going back, it says, House was unaware live rounds were inside the firearm. He grabbed and handed to Baldwin. A detective wrote in an application for the search warrant, the AP report. Now, just me. Just me now. Okay, Alec Baldwin is really not that well known now. He's gotten old. Uh, you know, he had his little uh, periods where he was off the radar because he was, you know, going down in his health and doing, you know, illegal substances and this, that, and the third, allegedly. Uh, he was just going through a lot uh, at the time. And I'm trying to think. He was married to or had a girlfriend. Shoot, I can't think of the person he was married to. But, uh, you know, he had some mental issues uh, going surrounding that time. Because I haven't bothered me. hadn't been a well man uh, per se. I just said that to say this. Uh, he, you know, he had a troubled spirit. So, definitely, if it is your job and you're supposed to be doing your due diligence, wouldn't it be plausible to think that the person handling the armor or the gun props to just automatically check prior to giving that person the gun i mean it seems like they had three special guns and only one of them misfired and had real bullets in there now i mean this is not nothing new these things have happened in the past but only to certain events now if i had really did my research on this i probably would have tried to google or research uh movie sets fatalities of actors getting handed 
cold guns, but they really weren't cold guns. They were loaded guns with live ammunition. Why would they even use live ammunition? I mean, live ammunition. Uh, <sighs> ammunition. Why would they even have... I mean, because some of these toy fake guns that they make, they look like the real deal. You just need that sound effects to give you that discharge sound that you need when they fire the firearm. So why would we even need to have real bullets being purchased for, you know, the set for if we're using guns and stuff of that nature? Why would we do that? Guns have been out in movies and westerns and all that kind of stuff for a very, very, very long time. So it ain't something new. Or if we keep making these mistakes, we need to stop and not go forward until we handle these guns, real guns being sent to movie set props for them to use. If you just going to straight out and kill somebody and say, oh, it was an accident. Really? Was it? That's just my uh, conspiracy theory mind at work. But we go back to the article. It says... Uh, Hollis was unaware live rounds were inside the firearm. He grabbed and handed it to Baldwin. A, de a detective wrote in an application for the search warrant. The AP reported how live rounds came to be inside a firearm intended for a movie shooting remains a mystery. And I'm like, sidebar again, does it really remain a mystery? No, it's not made a mystery. Y'all set it out there for certain things to happen. And that's basically what it is. Because if y'all really did y'all due diligence every time. I mean, this one person only had this one job to do. And they fell miserably at it. They only had one job to do. Which is to check to make sure no live ammunition was in the gun. Again, my thing that was saw all of this. Let's just not buy bullets. Okay? Then, because the gun has to come empty, even when you go and try to buy a gun yourself. They don't have a lot of ammunition in now. There are no ammunition in now. So that means follow that policy, follow that protocol, and you won't have no more problems with accidents happen with supposedly cold guns given to actresses and actresses to actors and actresses to use on set. If they don't have no bullets to begin with, there will be no accident. Okay? But that's just my thought process. Okay, going back to the article, it said uh, no charges have been filed in connection with the incident, which remain under investigation, according to the Santa Fe reporter. Investigators are attempting to determine what type of projectile was in the firearm. The sheriff told Fox News in a statement, well, hell, projectile is type of bullet. So we already know there was some bullets in there. You just need to know the source, the model, the brand, the make. Is that what we're talking about? But going back to the article, it says the Santa Fe County Sheriff Office obtained a search warrant Friday as part of the efforts to investigate the shooting. Now, like if the shooting happened on Thursday, why weren't y'all on scene and uh, bringing the warrant already for the uh, prop guns that were used? All three of them and the, bu the bullets that were bought to place in a cold gun for cinematic purposes okay filming purposes going back to the article it says russ movie production the company behind the film is also conducting its own review of what happened officials said friday the company statement came and it reports that some crew members were unhappy about the level of gun safety on the movie set Fox News has not independently confirmed the veracity of the complaints. Now I'm like, okay, why is the staff complaining about the gun usage? That means there was something already set in motion, something already in place to even have that fear being there. Okay? Going back to the article, it says Magistrate Judge John Resnick has issued the search warrant with which investigators sought to examine a bloody shirt worn by Baldwin, all firearms and ammunition present at the scene, and any relevant video ev evidence that may have been recorded, the Washington Post reported. The number of rounds fired in the incident, uh, in the incident was unclear. The AP reported Gutierrez handed over the firearm used by Baldwin, Baldwin to responding police officers after they arrived at the scene, the report said. Now, of course, you had several firearms there. Is it plausible that the true firearm that was uh, used to kill this lady unintendedly by mistake? Did you really think they probably gave the officers the real gun? Hmm. That's just my 
cur um cons conspiracy mind at work again. Um, going back, it said sheriff office spokes spokesman Juan Reyes said. Excuse me. Said Baldwin was not immediately facing any charges in the case and was free to travel. Okay, he's a free man. Royce told the AP. Thursday incident happened despite improvements in firearm safety made on movie sets since 1993. Prop gun death of actor Brandon Lee's son of the late martial arts film star Bruce Lee. That's right. I remember that. I wouldn't have thought of it prior to this video. But, yeah, see, it goes all the way back to 93. Probably go back farther, but this person that did their research on it found that piece, and they're going to use it as an example of firearms being mishandled and mishaps handled happen like this. Okay? At the Thursday incident, production was halted on Russ, in which Baldwin's character was to run off with his grandson after the grandson is sentencing to hang for an accident accidental killing of a rancher okay and that's basically what it was so alec baldwin was on um a film set uh filming the new movie he's being um uh, being starred in to play in a movie called rust and it's <laughs> child i'm like mm -mm. to me there's no way in today's time and climate about guns and the misuse of guns that nobody shouldn't be checking for uh, the safety of others and guns not being handled and misfired by accident. Because it seems kind of strange and I'm like, ugh, that just don't sound clean. None of that. It's something fishy going on in the sea over there. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I said, the sacrificial lamb to make a movie do good. It's not unheard of, but it just is what it is. Now, we can play a little clip. I think we might have something of a 911 call being made. Uh, hold on. We got an ad playing through it. Hopefully it'll come on after this uh, short commercial. Investigators in New Mexico are looking for answers tonight about what caused a tragic, fatal accident on a movie set. Actor Alec Baldwin apparently discharged a prop firearm, resulting in the death of one crew member and wounding another. Chief Correspondent Jonathan Hunt tells us what we know tonight from Los Angeles. That 911 call brought police to the Bonanza Creek Ranch outside Santa Fe, New Mexico, Thursday afternoon after Alec Baldwin apparently fired a prop gun on the set of his new Western Rust, hitting two people. 42-year-old Helena Hutchins, the director of photography on the movie, was killed, and director Joel Souza, who's 48, was injured. Baldwin made his first public comments today via social media, saying his heart is broken and tweeting, quote, There are no words to convey my shock and sadness regarding the tragic accident that took the life of Helena Hutchins, a wife, mother, and deeply admired colleague of ours. I'm fully cooperating with the police investigation to address how this tragedy occurred. The Sheriff's Department issued a statement saying in part, quote, this investigation remains open and active. No charges have been filed in regard to this incident. Witnesses continue to be interviewed by detectives. That's the lady that Those was fatally killed. The 63-year-old Baldwin, who was seen seemingly distraught and in tears outside the sheriff's office yesterday. The shooting recalls a similar tragedy back in 1993, when 28-year-old Brandon Lee, son of the martial arts icon Bruce Lee, was shot and killed with a prop gun. Those who handle weapons on movie sets say safety protocols introduced since then should now prevent any accidental shooting. There are lots of checks in place. For instance, with the Blandon Lee incident, there was uh, an obstruction in the barrel, which, which came out once the blank was put behind it. And now, nowadays, all weapons are checked, the barrels are checked before any blanks are put into the weapon. 
And tonight, the LA Times is reporting that the prop gun fired by Baldwin had previously misfired several times on set, also reporting that there were safety concerns among crew members and that hours before the shooting, a half dozen camera crew workers had walked off set to protest working conditions. Brett? Tragic. Jonathan, thank you. Okay, and that is all from what they reported. So now, you know, like I said, it's not none of my business anymore, but I just bought up some crucial issues or uh, cru crucial type of information to further think about when I was giving my commentary about how can this really happen in today's climate of checking one, two, three, four, five times a weapon to make sure it doesn't misfire, that it doesn't kill someone on set while filming. And then with them, them trying to just walk away, I'm like, where did they get these guns from? Evidently, they bought them in New Mexico. And they were like secondhand used guns or something. I'm like, get some plastic automatic weapons up there that are made to look like real guns and stop all this foolishness because i'm telling you sacrificial lamb it's not it's, it, it hadn't been debunked i can tell you that much but we'll see how fair this movie does and then if it does well like i said hmm, we know what life it took and we know what uh steps were taken to make sure that film was a brilliant success for the elites and the upper crest people to make their money back. Okay? That's all I'm saying. But y'all get down in those comments. Y'all tell me what y'all felt or if y'all have any thoughts at all about this situation. But again, share, share, share my videos out. Please, 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 please. Share, 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 scary. And like my videos, people. Alright? And if you so would incline... Subscribe to the channel if you feel like it. And I will see y'all next video. But prayers go up to Helena and her family uh, for their loss. And they're going through the grieving process. Keep them in prayer, y'all. Keep them in prayer.